dudes. So, what some to believe to be the blackout map appears to have like leaked on the internet. How valid is it? We won't know until the beta actually drops, but people seem pretty confident. There are 13 lame locations on this map, and I'm gonna take this video and just gonna hop into the maps that I think these locations will be based on. A lot are obvious, some aren't. So, let me know what you think. First on the list, Estates. So, there's no exact map called Estates in any Call of Duty that I could find anyway. Um, but there is Estate, which we're on right now in, in Modern Warfare 2. So if you look at, you know, if we zoom in a little bit on the actual map, you see kind of two areas, uh, two major buildings on right and left. Estate itself has a greenhouse in the background. This doesn't really match the map like one for one, but I don't know that any map is going to match from one for one. You know, it's going to be a lot of stuff that's being inspired by Call of Duty maps, right? So here we go for Estates. Wooded area. You do have this one shack on this side, some boats, small river. And got your your big old cabin over here. And what probably jug a lot of your memories is the greenhouse back over here. So is this estate? The estates that's referred to in the blackout um blackout map? We'll find out soon. I'm thinking yes. I think that like the the wooded area kind of matches up. It's not gonna be one for one. You have to account for like, you know, loot crates and Vehicles being able to go around that kind of thing, but I think that part of the map. This is a pretty safe bet, right? All right, so back in the map again Let's take a look at Construction site. There's no Map in Call of Duty history to my knowledge is called construction site um, Let's get a closer look if you zoom into the map a little bit gives us a rough idea of what the silhouette might be It looks like maybe it's like two buildings with like one one large passageway or a wall over there um so when thinking about construction sites, what comes to mind for me are two maps. The first of which is high rise, a lot of construction going on. We're at the top. It could be two large buildings running across some, some scaffolding or some beams to get from one area to the other. Um, so that might be a possibility for, for construction site. Um, so that's one. So the other guess and what I'd be equally excited for would be the other map that comes to mind when I think construction maps, and that would be Hard Hat from Modern Warfare 3. So, so let's take a look really quick. Right here's that silhouette again, and here we are in Hard Hat. Man, I've got so many memories on this goddamn map. So much Michael Myers. Let's uh, let's go ahead and cherish the goddamn photo. Let's take a look at the map real quick. Doesn't really look anything like that silhouette. If anything, I think high rise is the better bet if it was just gonna be closer to what the formation was. But if they were just going for the general feeling of a construction site that reminded you of a map you used to play on, it could be hard hat. I mean, I don't know how long you guys have been watching me, but you've been watching me for a while. You know we used to do tons of Michael Myers in this map, just chasing around, climbing objects. Good times. So, do you guys have any other other theories on what you think the construction site will be? Do you think it'll be completely original? original like area on the map i don't think so i don't think any area on the map that's at least named would be completely original for block uh, for blackout i mean it would kind of be like a wasted opportunity right maybe you know what i take that back maybe maybe blackout maybe black ops 4 might take from the maps in black ops 4 or they want to have some spots that are maybe just like unique to blackout that no one's seen before but we'll see i feel like most of it, if not all of it, should be like, you know, nostalgia filled. So cool. Those are my two picks for, for what the construction site might be. Let me know what you think. Let's move on to the next part of the map. It's a little bit of a mystery to me. Um, fracking tower. Fracking tower. I, nothing comes to mind when I think of fracking tower in the Call of Duty series. Uh, nothing except for maybe one. So l let's take a little closer look. Um, seems to be a pretty tight area. You have some kind of containers for like gas um, it's a little hard to see if there's any kind of device that's used to kind of like you know frack if you're not familiar with the term fracking it's when basically you're like you have this machine kind of pounding into the earth trying to crack it open um, to like extract oil or whatever is inside they're trying to get to so for fracking tower the only thing that that jumps out and was suggested by by community member owner like Rust, right? I mean, you'd figure they'd just call it rust if it was on the map, so maybe it's not the strongest 
theory. But, but let's take a look at this, right? He's got a large kind of object over here. There's nothing over here that's trying to drill anywhere. But if one thing had to kind of like represent like a large, that could be a large thing just trying to like smash to the ground, it could be a rust, rust-like map. So maybe if they just kept it the same formation. Here's some of the canisters that we kind of see. You remember this part of the map over here? Look at the kind of right above the A, C, and K. We'll see. This is kind of a weak theory. What do you guys think? I'd be a little bit sad if there was no no rust-like map on Blackout. But you also have to keep in mind, and I'm going to keep in mind, is that I believe that uh, Blackout will take a, a Fortnite-esque kind of strategy. So, you know, Fortnite every week, it's a little tweak to the game, new weapons, small change to the map, you know, every season, large change to the map. And maybe what we'll see in Blackout, maybe I've already confirmed this, so I might sound dumb. Um, is just, you know, swap out one area with another, right? Throw in, throw in terminal, throw in, uh, you know, overgrown. You know, like, there could be so many opportunities to kind of, like, throw in and out maps and keep it fresh. So, this is my thought for Fracking Tower. Again, it could be just, like, an original thing they're doing on the Blackout map. Maybe it's a reference to one of the Blackout, sorry, Black Ops four maps we haven't seen yet. Um, or maybe it's Rust. Let me know what your thoughts are. Back to the map. I had a lot of question marks so far, so let's hit some easy ones. How about a ray? You see it right there to the left of firing range. Let's go for a closer look. So, there's already a map called Array from Black Ops 1, right? We're on it right now. And as we're about to see, Array is a snowy place with satellite dishes, information collected. You know, this would make a great map. But... What kind of irks me is that, looking at the map, I don't know if the map at all reflects any kind of, you know, seasons like snow. It seems to be all kind of foresty, dry, humid weather, you know. There's no ice anywhere that I can spot. So maybe the map doesn't reflect that. And again, this is a map that's being spread on the internet. Who knows how legit it is. But we got a ray. It says a ray in the blackout, you know, map. It's probably a ray. And it's probably been arranged. <laughs> in a way that makes more sense for Blackout. But, I mean, there's some cool stuff. I mean, I love the dish over here. Plenty of opportunities for fun times, taking cover, etc., sliding down, dying, etc. So, Array seems to be a pretty pretty easy hit. I'm not sure how much is going to really stick around to it. When I think about Array and what really stands out in my memories, it's like this dish over here that's on the floor. You get to mess around with it. Let's take another quick swing through the map and see if there's anything else that kind of jumps out memory-wise. Bicycles. Lots of opportunities for fun stuff over here. We definitely did a few hide and seek games in this map. We need to go higher on this thing. But yeah, there we go. Array. Pretty easy pick. Likely readjusted like all the other maps for, for Blackout. Another easy one, right? So we just did Array. I'm already in Black Ops once. And just to the east of Array is Firing Range. Let's check out Firing Range, right? So we're in there now. Firing Range. Probably one of the best maps for games like Michael Myers. There's just so many fun things you can do. You can go up the tower, you can jump off and think you get away, then you fall to your death. You got the jeeps you can hide in the, hide in the back of. Um, studio, the remake of Firing uh, Firing Range was pretty cool also, but you know, you can't beat the original. You have the, the strip of land over here that's great for knife offs at the end. Lots going on. So let's take a quick look at the actual map real quick. I love that there's sectors in Black Ops 1. Very easy to kind of point out, you know. We're in B2 right now, etc., etc. And let's put that side by side with what firing range kind of looks like on that, on that image floating around. My face is behind the map, but don't worry, you don't need to see that over there. Maybe you want to see some of me, right? Anyway, so looking at that, can we kind of arrange this in a way where it makes sense and matches up with this? Like, can we look at at this map and see for example take a guess as to where there we go where the tower might be so where the Jeep might be it's a little a little hard to say and who knows again if it's one for one or or whatever I can't really quite tell but firing range is firing range I really doubt it's anything else I hope they don't remix it too much I mean you need you need the tower, you need to, to run around, you need like the... It should just, hopefully it stays pretty true to what 
what it is. I mean, I know it's got to make sense for Blackout and squads coming in and out. It needs more, more than three lanes every map, right? You're going to see all these maps can be kind of broken up um, from three lanes to like, whatever, 20 lanes, whatever they need for people to kind of traverse through there and make it fun. So, fire range, pretty easy bet that it's this. Let's move on. Again, we're in Black Ops 1. Why not check another obvious? We see Asylum on the far east of the map. Let's take a closer look, right? So, I can't really get too much out of it. Looks like a small area. Except, if you go in a little bit closer. Let me see how much I can zoom this in. Seems like right under the L is kind of like a, a square-shipped area. So, I'm not a zombies guy. But I know. Verrucked means Asylum in German. So, yes. I'm playing the Black Ops 1 version right now. But yeah. So, I don't know how prevalent zombies will be in the entire blackout map but they'll at least be in asylum right so it looks pretty good uh pretty excited for that we'll see whether they expand that or it'll start expanded but it's a pretty good way to kick it off anyway you guys think they'll add other zombies maps to the blackout map i think so we'll see all right, cool. Enough of me failing on like round four. Let's go on to the next map. And next, boys, you can already tell. You can hear the background. You can see the water. We're doing cargo docks. So cargo docks, very excited this is in it. Love love cargo, Black Ops 2. Uh, of course, very confident that's the case here. So let's just do another zoom in real quick. Make sure the, the silhouette kind of, you know, is familiar. Yes, you can see right there. And you look at the center of of the map. You see that circular area? That's what we got in Cargo and Black Ops 2. Let's go pay to visit, right? Refresh your memory. I haven't been here in a while. So, Cargo has always been kind of a fun map for hide and seek and whatnot. But the real fun, right here. Containers being dropped left and right. Sometimes, I'm sure there's an order to it, but I don't know what the order is. But these play games where the last person to get off this area with the person to die. So let's see, where's the next area this container's gonna be dropped? But cargo being in this one, fantastic. Hopefully, that's just uh, it stays in the game. I think it's a great thing to have. Should be great for blackout. Let's see, where's it gonna drop? Here we go. Can I can I get out? How long can I stay without getting killed? And I want to just get killed. There we go. All right. Next, turbine. Turbine, just south of the asylum. It's got a big wide open area over there. Maybe one of the more wide open areas on the map, right? So let's take a closer look. Yeah, I got two large buildings. Kind of looks like an like a like a military base kind of feel to it it doesn't really give me a strong sense of turbine from black ops 2 right turbine black ops 2 was a desert area which kind of looks like a desert area in the map um but less buildings and more just kind of rocks in a valley and uh you have a turbine that's collapsed in the center of the map over here so i mean it's hard to say that's not going to be turbine for turbine but that map doesn't seem to reflect it very very clearly but as far as buildings go you have one over there where you have like mount the turret got another small station over there but buildings just don't play a large role but maybe for the sake of blackout being a battle royale game and supporting 80 players you need like more buildings to kind of work with so maybe that in i'm sure liberties will be taken so turbine i believe it's still turbine we'll see it in the game north of asylum or northwest of asylum we have train station and I guess there's been a bunch of trains in Call of Duty, but one map stands out to me. If you ask me about a train map in Call of Duty, just one right away, of course, Express. Um, if you've been a fan of my channel for a while, you may remember us doing our <laughs> our dolphin diving games on this one, where folks would kind of jump off the do off the train, dolphin dive off, get shot by the hunters. Uh, good times, good times. Also great for Swifters as in other games, but. I'm trying to think of just other other maps where a train is prominent and nothing else jumps to me. Let's take a look at the close-up of the train station over here. 
I don't really get to get a good sense of any hints from this one. You can see there are train tracks, a station. Right by the A, there's a bunch of uh, of tracks going in. Maybe this would be the mall area to the right, or the station area. Could be the case, but I think, again, another good pick for Blackout. Yeah, I think this could be the building on the side. It's kind of got a mall vibe to it. Airport terminal kind of deal. But yeah, terminal. I'm mean, sorry. Express. Seems like a good bet on my side. Let me know if you can think of any other train maps where it might be the case. This is, this is going to be my pick, though. Next one I thought was very interesting. Again, let's look at Asylum and go to the north. Hydro Dam. Now, again, the first map that jumps out to me would be Hydro from Black Ops 2, which we're on right now. Like, hits all the marks. I mean, definitely a memorable map. Not, not one of my favorites, and it's a DLC map on top of that, but it looks great, right? You got a valley ahead, got the full flowing water. It's a pretty tight area. Um, looking at it, small map overall. But if you look at this mini map over here and you kind of compare it to the zoom in aspect, you can't really see the similarities on that way. But this is a dam. Hydro Dam's a dam. They're both named Hydro. Again, I think it's a pretty safe bet that Hydro, Hydro Dam is Hydro, a DLC map for Black Ops 2. If you disagree, let me know why. Can you think of any other dams? I can't. So I think this is a, another, another safe bet. But it's a good looking map. I feel like maybe a reason I haven't spent too much time on it is because it's a DLC map. This one is definitely more of a of a guess that, that it's a throwback. Uh, it's, a, it's my only guess. Um, you got to the uh, southwest of Firing Range, you got Rivertown. And now uh, Rivertown looks like it's maybe just called Rivertown because it's in between rivers, right? Let's take a closer look. Rivertown. Surrounded by water, swim over, drive over. Looks like there's a lot of opportunities for fun there. Lots of buildings. Um, but looking into, like, the old Call of Duties and what might have been Rivertown. There's Odor Rivertown in the original Call of Duty. So, um, I'll be honest. I've never played the original Call of Duty. I forget. Let me just download it. I grabbed the save file. And it's mission number 23. Rivertown. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, that's loud. Wow. Wow. Wow, let's let's move. <laughs> Alright. So let's take a look, man. Classic, right? Get yeah, wrecked punk. Alright, I probably should have walked in the building. But man, what a classic, right? So is this what we could possibly see in blackout for for a map? Wow, rest in peace. Maybe I should play the original Call of Duty, do a playthrough one of these days. But yeah, that'd be... Oh, can I... Are buildings destructible? Not really. But yeah, I mean, it looks like it has the potential to be a decent map. So that's my guess. Anyone else have any suggestions on what they think might be Rivertown? I mean, it seems like it's a good fit, right? Like, having a, a map that's a... A combination of many other Call of Duty maps. You have to at least maybe have like one map from the original Call of Duty. And Rivertown looks like it could be a solid pick. Guess we'll find out real soon. Alright, not too many spots left after that last one. But we still haven't touched upon Factory. And now you hear the World War II music in the background. Because that's my my best guess. But it, it could be so many maps. It could be a zombies map. But... I'm, I'm gonna, my, my bet's gonna be Death Factory World War II. So, before we take a look at the map really quick, let's, let's zoom in a little bit. On the blackout map mock-up, whatever. Factories along the river. And, I don't know, my bet is it's a little bit more on the modern side. I'm not sure it'll be, uh, it's hard to say, what can I say? But you know what? I'm gonna place my bet. World War II, Death Factory. What factory do you think it's gonna be? Will it be like a uh, just a default, like, you know, new factory area, maybe based on what we might have seen. Oh, well, maybe? It's too late. I'm already, I've already picked World War II, but maybe an advanced warfare map? And the last one we're going to check out is obviously going to be Nuketown Island. We've covered estates, construction site, hydro dam, train station, fire range, ray, river town, asylum turbine, fracking tower, cargo docks, and factory. I feel like factory didn't really have a, 
it's the only map that factoring into my knowledge, so I bet one's I bet I'm wrong in that one. I was thinking afterwards, it's like maybe it's from ghosts. So I don't really I have no idea on that one. But Nuketown. Nuketown is Nuketown. Nuketown Island. Now the question if it's Nuketown Island, I could just hit up Nuketown on one of the other Call of Duties I loaded up already. Why not do it in Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2? Well, I'm in Black Ops 3 for a reason. That's because, well, not only is the latest Black Nuketown, but Nuketown in Black Ops 3 was actually an island itself. If you look around here, if you remember watching any of our uh, our Mystery Wars games, sometimes we do our games right out here outside the bounds. So we're using Jeff's guy's Swift mod to let us go out of bounds based on any map. And Nuketown in particular, you can kind of go anywhere. It's a nice round place. I'm not saying that Nuketown in black um, blackout mode is going to be this. It's it's not going to be that. It's going to be very similar to what you see in the Megro map. But I just want to point out that from the get-go in Black Ops 3, it had the, the island thing going on. So, dudes, that pretty much covers that. Let me know what you think. Like, uh, do you agree with most of my picks, none of my picks, all my picks? Do you have your own ideas, theories? Do you think the entire map is just a lie, propaganda, someone made up? Let me know what you think. I don't usually do these analysis or whatever. I'm a customs guy, but I thought it would be fine. It's kind of fun to hop into the maps of what we think might be in Blackout. And we'll know in just a few days anyway, so we'll see you soon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait, rate, uh, can't wait to read the comments. Thank you, dudes.